Hi, my name is Matt Rich. I am the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, and I'm going to walk you through how to set up restrictions on your iPad or iOS device for age and allowable content. The first thing you do is go to Settings, and we're looking at my iPad right now, and then you go to General, and then you go look through your journal list, and you go to Restrictions. Now, we highly encourage parents to set their own restrictions code different than the passcode on their own personal devices. As a school district, we have our own passcode. For today's model, I've set up a dummy passcode, which is 1234. Once again, we encourage you never to use 1234 or 0000 as your restrictions code. What we're looking at here is our district model for settings that we have on all of our iOS devices. As you can see, we've given access to uh, Safari, Camera, iTunes, iBookstore, installing apps, and Siri, as well as, as, well as our allowable content standards. We have rated have ratings for the United States. We've chosen clean, PG movies, PG TV shows, restricted books, and we restrict it for sexual content and apps for 12 plus being the limit and we've turned off in-app purchases and required passwords. There will be a different uh, tutorial on purchasing and setting purchasing requirements but what you're looking at right now is our district master in terms of how we go through and set up our own iOS devices. To restrict an app you simply you can see the apps that we have chosen here that we can restrict and simply we can turn like camera on or off and no longer that we can use the um, camera function on the iPad. Once you get general again, it'll take you out. We go back into restrictions. We need a passcode once again. Ours is 1234. And you can see I've set up the turn, I can turn the camera back on. We have that with basic functionality. We've allowed for installing apps on our device, but as a parent, you can certainly turn that off. And if you wanted to install a new device, you'd have to go into, or a new app, you'd have to go into restrictions, turn it on, install the app, and then I would re-enable the uh, restriction to turn off installing apps. There are some allowable content standards. For example, an explicit language from Siri, you can turn that on or off by simply clicking the tab in under restrictions. We also can do the same thing for explicit podcasts by turning them on or off. As a district model, we keep those locked down. You can do the same thing for your movie ratings for your child. You can choose what movies are allowed or not allowed. We've only allowed, chosen to accept G or PG, but if we wanted as a parent to check in PG-13, we just click that line and up it would come. This being the district model though, we limit this to PG movies. Same thing goes for TV shows. You could go and you could click on TV-14 if you so chose as a parent. However, as a district, we limit it to TVPG. In books, we have restricted access set up, but you could go through, once again, allow books for uh, rated uh, explicit sexual content. We've turned this off. As a parent, however, you could turn that on or off by toggling the switch. We choose to keep that off. Those are the ways that you can restrict a device in terms of apps and allowable content on an iOS device. We hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much, and have a marvelous day.